What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my 2K16, my career. Let's play Ebenezer's Revenge on the PS4 on a fine Thursday. And we're going to fight Ryback on Superstars. That somehow seems appropriate, uh, as he is currently sitting home, uh, not uh, just sitting on his contract until it ends, I guess. I don't know. So let's hop into that, obviously. Obviously. First of all, John Cena vs. Undertaker on Superstars. What the fuck are you smoking? The Rock, Roman Reigns on Superstars. What? I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyhow, let's get into it as we fight the Teenage Mutant Ninja Ryback here. And uh, discuss, you know, wrestling news and rumors and whatnot as we do. It is Thursday. Uh, the weekend is tomorrow, and I'm excited. Um, so... First and foremost, you guys had some pretty fucking awesome names for the tag team of er Ebenezer and Eric Rowan. Uh, some of the ones I liked were Sheepskates is pretty good. Um, if you take into account Paige, you had Paige, Ebenezer, and Eric P. Which, that's a thing that they would t totally have done in like the Attitude Era. Um, I like, if you combined Rowan and Ebenezer, it'd be... Raubenezer, that's pretty good. And then, uh, the Angry Whopper is really good. It's really good. Um, I thought that actually takes, you know, the two things that, that they are and makes a new thing out of it. And, uh, I don't ever anticipate teaming up with Eric Rowan ever again. But if I do, uh, those are all great names. So thanks for that. Um, obviously... The big news going on right now is still this impending draft and SmackDown going alive uh, in July. That is still kind of the biggest question mark going around right now. It is... is speculation is running wild. Just running wild. Um, but a, sh a, uh, a short reminder uh, on, on the rumor mill and whatnot is that supposedly, uh, from what we, we had heard last month, is that tomorrow, as in Friday, uh, there will p potentially be more releases. Now, does that change in light of the fact that they're going to have a roster, uh-oh, a roster split, you know, a brand split, and have distinct superstars on each side? Would it be a good thing? Oh no, watch out! Watch out for the Ryback! Would it be a good thing to cut more superstars at this point? Um, because that would be... Uh, not good, uh, if you're gonna, you know, have to have d different talent on different shows, that would be, uh, you know, you're already overworking your talent as it is, so, um, that would be, yeah, just, uh, not the wisest move, but, but, that is the rumor, so certainly I will be keeping a close eye on, on all of the dirt sheets and news sites and whatever else tomorrow to see if there are any more future endeavors, as it were. Um, how did my meter get down to zero? I had meter, there was a cutscene, and apparently being distracted by what I assume was the was the music from, from Stardust. Obviously I have that stuff turned off because of content ID, but I assume that's what it was. Uh, and that gave him a finisher, and me, zero percentage on my, uh, specials and finishers, which is fuck. I was just beating his ass. I was whipping the crap out of the big guy. Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, very closely watching what's gonna happen tomorrow, if anything happens tomorrow, um, but, supposedly, the, the draft will, uh, will be occurring, uh, or is currently planned for the July 11th episode of Raw. And I'm not going to sit here and speculate which talent is going where. I can only say, look, learn from your previous mistakes. If you're going to draft uh, tag teams, draft them as the entire tag team, as a unit. Because if you draft, say, Big Cass and not Enzo, you are fucking up. Seriously. Don't pull... When they split up the Dudley boys years and years ago from a draft, that was... That, that gave you Reverend Devon. That was, no. And granted, Reverend Devon gave you the debut of Batista, Deacon Batista, but still, that whole thing was a flop. It was a flop and a half. There was a very brief, hey, we're going to give Bubba Ray a singles run, you know, with the champ, which at the time was, tri was Triple H, and that just flopped like a motherfucker. Anyway, um, supposedly, according to the dirt sheets, 
uh, this decision to have this uh, brand split uh, was made in the last several weeks, and some of the talent were not notified until as recently as Extreme Rules, which was this past Sunday. So my speculation yesterday that, you know, perhaps guys like Barrett and Rhodes, were, you know, uh, if they had known about it and left anyway, that would have, you know, been uh, not great. But if they, it like, Barrett's been done for a, a bit now. So if they were only, t they were only mentioning it to talent uh, as of this past Sunday, then there's no way he could have known. There's no way he could have known. You would think. Um, certainly there were, you know, signs there and rumors and everything else, but until they actually, you know, announce the thing, then you don't actually know. So, maybe those guys are like, oh man, I should have stuck around. Maybe I would have got that B-tier SmackDown title, and I could have, you know, hopefully moved up toward the actual proper world title. That would have been cool. Um, but, you know... C'est la vie. Anyway, uh, the other kind of thing going around right now is the fact that they've announced the official name uh, for the next TakeOver. Uh-oh. Nope. 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 Fuck your comeback. Um, they've announced a name for the next TakeOver special, uh, which is going to obviously be headlined by Finn Balor and Samoa Joe, who is your current NXT champion. Uh, and... The reason that there is rampant speculation is that reverse it. I'm getting on the outside. No. What are you even doing? Um, the name of the special is NXT TakeOver The End. The End. Now, immediately the internet was like, well, maybe that means we're like, just, they're going to turn. NXT into SmackDown. That, that's going to be their big thing. And I'm like, that sounds insane. You've spent so much time and hard work turning NXT into its own brand as your third wheel of your business. Why, why would you all of a sudden say, no, now it's SmackDown. Like, that, that seems dumb. But apparently they've promoted the head writer of NXT to the head writer of SmackDown now, is what I'm hearing. Which is why, you know, between that and the name, people are having that kind of speculation, but the end could mean a lot of things. It could mean the end of the rivalry be between Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. It could mean the end of Finn Balor in NXT as he gets called up to main roster, most likely SmackDown. Huh. So, you know, it could mean a lot of things. Uh, and, uh, we just don't know yet, I guess is the, uh, like, a lot of this stuff we, we, we just don't know yet. And, and, uh, obviously, that plays into the vested interests of the company, because not knowing means you want to watch. Uh, and that is good business. But, you know, we're just kind of hoping you don't... Like, the issue with what they're going to do with the titles, the issue with what they're going to do with the women's division, um, just, there's just a lot of just unknowns right now, and that's kind of the biggest, like, please don't botch this. They've botched so many things. Uh-oh, Meat Hook. That was not good. They've botched so many things uh, that, immediately, you know, so many things that seemed like a surefire bet, you know. So, so many things that, you know, hey, this is this is real hot. Can you capitalize on it? And time and time again, more often than not, they were not capitalizing. Like, I don't think you necessarily have the same amount of star power as you had during the previous brand split, and I think that might come back to haunt them at some point. Uh, although, granted, they've, they've certainly been aggressive in signing a lot of talent that, you know, could potentially make them a lot of money. Alright, I forced him to use his finisher to kick out, so now, hopefully, we can get out of this match. Famous, sir. Get up. Alright, here's another attitude, like a third one here, I think. Or, my third attempt, anyway. Apple juice! That's it. Good night, Ryback. Boom. Oh no, there's, uh, Stardust again. You know, I think he had attempted that distraction earlier, so... Uh, he didn't succeed. 
I got the pinfall. Does this mean I'm going to get a Renee Young interview? Um, but actually, more importantly, the fact that they didn't make me fight Stardust three goddamn times in the same week is a step in the right direction, because that's, that's not how feuds work, to be honest. It's just not how it works. Alright, there was no Renee Young interview. It just sat and loaded for a while. That's okay. Uh, I think we've gone on long enough today, uh, which means that we'll, we, we will head into TLC tomorrow and fight Stardust and end that feud and wish Cody well in his future endeavors, um, etc., etc., as we head toward our eventual goal of the face who runs the place, John Cena. So, tune into that tomorrow. I've got more video stuff in the works. i got to film Pixels today. That'll be up tomorrow. We're going to finally film Uncharted 4. Uh, fingers crossed. I haven't heard from haven't heard from Grimm yet, so we'll see. Uh, but that, 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 that should be up tomorrow around noon-ish, as usual. Um, anyway, yeah. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. And I'll see you next time right here on this channel. Hello!